So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 19 here and today we do have a bunch of really good action figure news so let's get into it right away and start it off with the 1000 Toys Dark Horse Comics Hellboy and this is going to be releasing next year April of 2019 and there is going to be two versions you can get the regular version or the the I guess deluxe version and he did just go up for pre-order as well so if you want to get this Hellboy you can pre-order him right now in that deluxe edition I'm just going to call it this is what's included with it. If you get the regular, you won't get these extra added accessories. Now moving on to Revil Tech. Right here, we do have their Winnie the Pooh figure, and it looks like he's going to be releasing October of 2018, and he is included with a bunch of cool stuff. He is included with a stick, a jar of honey, a log to sit on, a scarf, interchangeable hands, and facial expressions. So he is included with a bunch of really good stuff for a Winnie the Pooh figure. And Revil Tech did reveal an amazing Yamaguchi Deathstroke, and it actually looks pretty damn cool. Even the unpainted prototype looks pretty awesome. You know you're going to be able to get him into pretty much any type of pose you want, so if you really want a Deathstroke figure where you could put him in all types of dynamic poses, this might be the route to go and I really do like the look of like that that metal part on his armor it kind of looks like fish scale I really dig the way that looks on the figure not sure if I'm going to be getting this just yet and Revil Tech also revealed an amazing Yamaguchi Psylocke and this I am so happy and excited about she is thick as hell as well and I really love the translucent plastic they used for her purple hair it really gives it a nice look of course I do like that type of look for figures like the Saiyans that I've been getting lately, but Psylocke has always been my favorite chick from X-Men, and, and I'm just really happy she's getting more attention in figure form, you know what I mean? And I do like that Revil Tech is continuing with X-Men characters. Please make more X-Men characters, Gambit, Nightcrawler, Beast, Sabretooth, there's just so many they can make. We don't get enough love in the figure community when it comes to X-Men characters. And not really digging her anime type looking face. I wish she had a more Asian look to her, but other than that, this is a definite must-have for me and I cannot wait to get this figure. Now moving on to Max Factory Figma. Right here we have some of their Batman Ninja figures as we have Batman on the left that we have already seen. And we do have the painted prototype now of the Catwoman, which also looks awesome. And Max Factory also had their Figma Griffith from Berserk on display and I guess they're teasing that he is getting an upcoming re-release kind of but more of like a repaint kind of like this Guts right here who's getting a repaint with some added accessories as well. I do love the new skull helmet or mask that he has with the armor. I think that, that looks sick. That wasn't with the original figure so very happy that they are doing like this reissue repaint for this uh berserker armor guts now and another thing i really dig about this repaint is the much darker look that they went with with his armor i really like the look of this one now a lot more compared to the original and it does say that it is going to be releasing in 2019 doesn't say which month or anything yet but of course when i find out I will let you know in a future figure news video. All right, so next here, we're gonna be getting some articulated Full Metal Alchemist figures. I'm not sure which company or what scale they're gonna be, but this is definitely good news for people who are fans of Full Metal Alchemist, because we really don't have any good articulated figures of them besides Play Arts Kai, I believe, which are pretty big in scale compared to six inch scale figures, which what I believe these are. All right, so now moving on to Mafex, they have also revealed a bunch of really cool new stuff. And let's start it off here with their Iron Spider from Infinity War. Here are some images of it on display and it just looks beautifully executed. I love the paint that they use. It's more glossy, it does have a metallic type look to it as well. Then next here, we do have their comic book version Spider-Man, which is also looking dope as hell, and that I am very excited for. I know a lot of you are as well. We also know that Mafex is making a Gwenpool, and this, I heard, is evil Gwenpool, so now you're going to have both options to get either one. And they did reveal a comic book version Deadpool. Wish they would have made a movie version, but definitely happy to get more. Deadpool figures, which it looks awesome. And next, what I'm most excited about, Mafex revealed a comic book version Venom, and it looks more like the classic version Venom, which I am perfectly fine with, because Venom is one of my favorite comic book characters, and so happy that he's getting more figures made uh, of him, because we really didn't have enough, and I really dig this more classic type of look 
as well. Of course, he's going to have interchangeable hands and faces, so definitely can't wait to see more about that, and we'll definitely pre-order it once it goes up or pre-order. And next, Mafex did have their Kingsman Secret Service figures on display right here as Eggsy, and then I, I forgot this guy's name, but they are also going to be making him as well. They both are up for pre-order in case you want to get these figures for yourselves. And then next here, we have some RoboCop figures. So we do have the original first movie RoboCop figure right here. Then we do have RoboCop 2, which is the one I pre-ordered. I dig the look of his armor a lot more compared to the other ones. And then the last one, which is their newest reveal, is RoboCop 3 with the jetpack and everything. So pretty cool that we're going to be getting all three RoboCop figures from the original trilogy. And then next we have Mafex's John Wick figures on display. I believe the bottom one is from the first John Wick and the one on the top with the dog is from John Wick 2. The one that went up for pre-order is this one here with the black shirt from I guess the first John Wick movie which I do have pre-ordered and uh, it looks like a great figure. I can't wait for both of them and whenever the John Wick 2 figure goes up for pre-order I will definitely have to pre-order that one as well because I need the uh, pencil accessory and to have the dog accessory as well, but it's John Wick. I mean, how could you not want more John Wick figures? So now for Mafex's DC The Dark Knight Trilogy figures, right here we do have their Two-Face on display, which actually just released, should have mine any day now, and then they did have their cop version Joker on display, which cannot wait for that one to release in August so I can recreate the crazy interrogation scene Joker figure. And next we have their Taken... Raz Al Ghul, which looks really, really good. I did pass on that because I wasn't a big fan of the Raz Al Ghul character. I'm not really a fan of him. And then next here for their Dark Knight trilogy, we do have their Christian Bale, Bruce Wayne on display, which also looks great, but did pass on that. Also, can't wait for Two-Face and the cop version Joker, though. And now for Mafex's Justice League stuff right here, we have their Wonder Woman, which is actually looking a lot better than I thought she would turn out to be. She looks a lot better than the other two Wonder Woman figures they put out. Then next here, we do have Cyborg, which is one I am very, very excited for. Cannot wait for Cyborg to release, so I can put him in with my Justice League figures. Then next, we do have the Justice League. Aquaman, which also looks just freaking awesome. I love the way his armor looks. Just really cool looking design. And then last, we have the solo movie Aquaman in the more classic Aquaman type suit, which I think takes a huge doo-doo all over the Justice League one. And the figure itself looks great. I cannot wait for it to go up for pre-order and finally release so it can be in my collection. But anyway, that is all the action figure news I have for you as of right now. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about these figures in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you didn't like it. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. Hey.